Hello and welcome back to my videos. In this video, I want to speak about the bootstrap view and how we can work with the button groups. The button groups is using to group kind of buttons where you have different uh, purpose of, of, uh, of the buttons when you work with the groups. And um, that's what we want to speak about today. And I hope you, I will be your teacher to, to learn how the button groups working in bootstrap uh, view. So stay here in the video and learn more books review with me. This will be a, a pleasure for me to do. And uh, before we are starting to type code, I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel. You can do it in the, in the below in the right corner and press the thing. And uh, then you can uh, like this video if you, if you want and share it with your friends. Everything in the video will be on my GitHub profile and then you can just press uh, on the description below and you can see what I have to to link with the bootstrap uh, to get uh, github yes so let's beginning to code some code and uh, work with the button groups in bootstrap view the first basic uh, button group we want to work with should be inside here to say button group and then we have starting the button group and you can just type b button and we can say button button one, button two, button three. And so easy. And we are got to go inside the button groups. You can see we have the button groups here. You can just add the button groups. And of course, like we have with the with the buttons work, we can also, uh, we can uh, also working with the with the variance. So let's make this for primary and uh, we'll make danger and succeeds. And let's go in for the browser again and see what happening. You can see we have the three buttons now with the color because we're playing with the variants. So it, it's pretty easy to, to change the, the bottom con button color. Sorry. And uh, yes, and like the, the buttons, we we, we can work with the with the size, so I will create two button groups now, one with the large and one in the small. So let's go in for this the downside here and say B row and B column. Duplicate duplicate that. Sorry for my words now because I have speaking a long time now, not in this video, but I've recording a lot of videos today, so my voice is uh, a little bit bad right now so i think that will be this the large uh, last video today yeah if you can hear me, my voice it's not so good and then we're saving it and then if we are lucky we have two now uh, button groups one with small and one with big and that's what we want the other one we can do now i'll just uh, place it in the column more here we can uh, make it vertical. That's meaning, and normally we have the uh, in, in one line. If you want it in in the flip, it you can go down. You can just say vertical here, vertical, and uh, then we have it uh, vertical. You can see it here, one, two, three, and uh, small. So we have different ways to to group your buttons. And in the button groups, we can work with the the drop down buttons. I will show how we can work with that. So let's copy, uh, I think we just need to copy this one. It, it's fine for me. And then we're going down. And I think we have the normally one here, what the button should be the normal one. The, the second one should be the button uh, drop down. And inside here, I will say it should be drop down right. And the text should be bottom two. And then we have drop down bottom item. And I can just say item one, that's fine. Item two. And then we use a divider. A divider, it, it's like I use HR to, to slice the page so you can get more information. So it's more separately. And the same will happen with you use the divider. And you don't need anything inside here. And I just say the 
item tree. And that's how we can work with the drop down. You can see we have the drop down here and everything is nice. This is not a drop down. This is a drop down where the button is drop down. And then we can create a, a drop down where you split. Uh, the splitting is meaning we have a, a little bit here in the error. So we need to click on the error and then we have, can click on the button too. That's what I want to demonstrate now. And uh, I think we can just copy this one. And going down here and say drop down. And uh, we just say right and we say split. That's it and text uh, split split button and we will rename this to drop down whoops drop down button and then you can see when I'm going back to the browser we have the split button here you can see you click on split button the drop down button and the error for the split button and uh, that's how you can work with the drop down in the button group so if you have a bunch of buttons and one of the buttons should have in a split view it could be this is a default something like publish you can click on it and then you can drop down to draft and yeah save it so that's a little bit about how we can work with the button groups in bootstrap view and i really hope you appreciate that and if you want you can subscribe my channel you can do it in the below in the right corner and press on the thing if you have any questions you can make the comments below and i will try to answer them as fast as i can and of course I really hope you want to like this video and share it with your friends and of course add it for your playlist and remember every kind of code here will be on my boot uh, on my github profile and you can find every necessary links in the bottom uh, below in the description thank you so much to have you today and I really hope you will stay with me in the next videos about bootstrap view hope to see you next time bye